The Zero Emissions Noosa Expo is on in only a few weeks' time. And I'm flying there because this is an event I personally don't want to miss. I found out about it last year. It's in one of the best possible locations in the world. I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't like Noosa? And you know what? I'm going to be speaking there and I'm really excited to see this festival. This is one of the biggest electric car festivals in the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. The first Noosa EV Expo was held. I think it shows you the intelligence of the people who organized this event because it was held all the way back in 2018 when electric cars were really a very novel and new thing. And it was an initiative of Zero Emissions Noosa, a not-for-profit organization committed to the goal of zero carbon community emissions in Noosa by 20. 26. That's a pretty good goal to have, right? Zero emissions in Noosa by 2026. A second large event followed in 2019 and included a speaker's program. With a brief hiatus in 2020 because of COVID, the 2021 event overcame COVID-19 and some pretty damn challenging weather for the first partnership with Noosa Council and Noosa Junction Association. The large turnout in what is a rural area, showed that the car, well, not just the car, but the entire community, it was really keen to see what's happening. There's so much happening in the solar, battery industry, uh, EV industry. There's so many changes. And this is going to be an explosion in terms of the amount of businesses jumping into this, amount of people jumping into this, amount of intelligence jumping into this, innovation. It's honestly such an exciting time. You know, motor shows around the world, were basically dead five, maybe five to 10 years ago. They were basically dead. Most of them have been canceled. It's really just new electric cars that have driven the new age of the motor show. It, you can see that in China. Look, look at China. Look at the massive resurgence in motor shows in China. And then look at it in, in Europe and in the United States. It's really just the EVs, the new, the new products, the new technology that people are most interested in. Starting in 2022, the Noosa show went even bigger and they held the expo on the Sunshine Beach Road in Noosa Junction, which was closed to traffic for the entire day. More than 80 exhibitors and thousands of visitors turned out to make it the best show so far. The Noosa EV and Electrify Expo is now well and truly on the Southeast Queensland Sustainable Transport and Electrify Everything map and they're expecting the 2025 event will attract a huge range of exhibitors. Last year, they had more than 5,000 people. A huge numbers are expected this year. There's been an explosion of new electric cars. So if you want to come and personally see me at the event, ask me some questions, whether that's about what car I recommend you buy or what would be most suitable for you or anything to do with vehicle to grid, then come to the show. I'm more than happy to ask answer any questions. I'll be there on the Saturday afternoon, the Saturday evening, and again on the Sunday morning. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. The show has a few sponsors and I don't normally call out sponsors, but I, I really appreciate these people. I don't, by the way, I'm not getting paid to do this, but I really appreciate these people sponsoring electric car shows and you know electric expos because this is what we need to change the world. So kudos to Noosa Junction, everyone's favorite local, to the Noosa Council. I mean, we've got council, some councils in Australia that are totally backwards in there counseling EV charges and, and then this council is the complete opposite to that. So kudos to them. The Marucci Door Cricks, Drive Away Happy, Xpeng are sponsoring the event, Skoda, Zika, uh, Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles, uh, Whip Smart, and apparently BYD, Verizon, Genesis, Leap Motor, Renault, Volvo. Now there's a few other sponsors, including Enervest, First Choice Solar, Mask Events, Unity Water, Tritium, and Smart. And the accommodation sponsor is RACV, the Noosa Resort. So I'll be staying at that place, uh, the RACV Noosa Resort. I've heard a lot of good things about it on the Saturday night. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really actually hoping there might be some waves on the early, the Saturday, early Sunday morning that I can try and catch a couple of waves. Now, there are a couple of other sponsors, including Ohm, Noosa and District Landcare, Every Solar 2.0, Segway, Noosa Today, and... QWLC, which is Queensland Water and Land Carers, along with Noosa Biosphere, Noosa Graphica, Clean Tech Network, and Visit Noosa. So there's a lot of sponsors here, but these are the kind of companies I think we should give our money to. 
I think we should support. And when I, when I say give our money, I don't mean give it away for nothing, but I mean support these businesses because if they're going to support Australia being a better place, not just Australia, but by extension, the world being a better place, then I think it makes sense to support them as well. Speaking of vehicles though, at the expo, there's actually going to be quite a lot of cars and some of them, not all of them, but some of them include the Audi Q4, Audi Q6, BMW iX1, the BYD Shark, BYD C Line 7, Cherry Omoda E5, BX, which actually there's some discounts right now for the Cherry Omoda, which are very good value. The Cupra Tavas Tavascan, the Cupra Tavascan VZ, and the Endurance, the Verizon H9E electric truck. So if you're into a, you know, maybe you need an electric truck for your business, come and check that out. Verizon Supervan. Uh, Verizon, by the way, are under the Geely umbrella. Then you've got the Genesis GV60, the Genesis GV70, Great Wall Motors Aura, Great Wall Motors H6 GT, Great Wall Motors Canon Alpha Plug-in Hybrid, the Hyundai Kona, Leap Motor C10 EV. By the way, guys, there's a, there's a new Leap Motor in China. It's actually the C10 big improvement. Leap Motor C10 Hybrid, the MG ZS EV. Hopefully, MG will have their new electric car at the show, their new SUV. MG4 Essence, Mini Cooper, Nissan Leaf, Polestar 2, Polestar 3. Polestar 3, I would love to own one of those. That's a very nice car. Polestar 4, also very nice. The Renault again, E-Tac, Skoda Elrock, Tesla. Don't know, I'm going to guess new model Y. Looks like it's going to be there. Toyota BZ4X, the Volkswagen ID Buzz, Volvo Truck, Volvo FH Aero, the Volvo Twin Recharge XC40, Xpeng G6, and the Zika 009. Zika 7X, be cool to see one of those at the show, but I don't think that um, that's going to be there. That's the show in Noosa. I hope you're there. I'd love to see you. I'm excited. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good night. Bye-bye. The Geely EX5, which has just gone on sale in a number of different countries around the world, a very good value for money car. It's just been updated in China. Uh, it looks a little different on the outside, a little different on the inside, not major differences, but it's a little different. The biggest difference though, they've added a different long range version, a bigger battery option that will give you about five, probably about 500 kilometers of WLTP range. The Geely EX5 has been one of the world's top selling electric cars over the past six months since it was unveiled. It's extremely good value for money. Here in Australia, people are buying them and they're doing really well. But there's just one, I think one issue, and that is that there's only a standard range version. The longest range version has about 440 kilometers of range. And that means that, um, you know, for some people, it's not gonna be the right car. 